Let's talk YouTube gear. Hey everybody, it's the Everyday Dad. So today I've got a bit of a maintenance day. I gotta clean this gross chain. Doing some, you know, around the house maintenance stuff. Uh, but what I wanna talk about today is YouTube gear, or more specifically, my YouTube gear. So let me clean this chain real quick. We'll head out and we'll talk about all the things that I use for my action gear. We'll do another video, probably this Saturday's video, will be about my studio gear. This is just the gear I take with me when I head out and film places. Alright, let's talk about YouTube gear. It is extremely hot out here today. So my philosophy on gear has two parts. As easy as possible, as stable as possible. I don't have a lot of fancy sliding gear or any kind of fancy camera gear, so I really look for cameras that are stable or they have some kind of stabilization. You'll see on my drone and on my action camera, they're both stabilized lenses. My main camera, my G7 that I'm talking to right now, I only use that when it's on a stable setting. So I like very stable footage. I, I don't really like shaky cam. I don't like movies with shaky cam. So I like stable, easy. Cause I'm not a very, I'm not a camera guy. I'm not a photo guy. I'm not a video guy. I don't really know how to do all that stuff. I'm learning, but I need cameras that are as easy as possible, which is why you'll see me default to action cameras a lot of the time because they're just super easy to use. When I'm filming YouTube video, I'm trying to do four things. I'm trying to explain my concept as entertainingly as possible with, you know, varying amounts of success. Number two is I'm trying to put you in the spot with me so you can feel like you are doing what I'm doing. So in the case of my helmet mounted camera, that should give you a sense that you were the one riding the motorcycle instead of me. So I want to put you in the action. Number three, I want to show you my emotions or my reactions, or I think that me explaining it to you with you being able to see me is the best way to go about that. Number four, doing cool drone shots. I just like flying my drone. I love getting drone footage in the shots here. I love taking drone video and putting it in the channel. So any excuse I can use to get drone footage in an episode or in a film or in a video, I'm gonna take full advantage of that. So those are the four things I'm trying to do with each YouTube video. And uh, as I learn, uh, I do feel like I've learned a whole lot in the six months I've been running this channel. And I hope to learn a whole lot more in the next six months and the next six months. And I consider this to be a process. I don't think I'll ever be at an end state. So one of the things that I've done with my gear is I break it out into different setups. So whatever I'm gonna do, I have a different kind of setup for whatever situation I'm gonna be in. If I'm gonna be in the studio, and we'll, like I said, we'll cover that in the Saturday video this week. If I'm in the studio, I have a different setup than if I'm just gonna be on the bike, or if I'm gonna come out onto a location like this and film, I have a different setup. So we'll go through each of those setups, but a lot of the gear will overlap because I don't have a whole lot of gear. Um, I have what I consider to be the bare necessities of gear to get all the shots I would like to get, and as time goes on, we'll add to that. So gear setup number one I'm gonna talk about is my motorcycle setup. So what gear do I take when all I'm gonna be doing is riding on a motorcycle, mainly when I'm doing dad rides? So I've got my helmet, and my helmet is my main, you know, my main mount for my camera. So I have a GoPro mount just kind of like glued to the front of this helmet, and that's where I use my cameras for. And my cameras are, I use two Sony action cameras. I use the Sony FDR X3000, and I use the Sony FDR X1000V. So these are two very similar cameras. This is the newest that Sony has. This is a generation behind. This has optical image stabilization. This just has electronic image stabilization. I really use Use this is my main camera and this is my B camera so this is the one where you'll you'll just be seeing me because they're easier shots to get it doesn't need to be as stable this is what I want to use when I need the shots to be as stable as possible and if you click here you'll see my what I like so much about this camera I haven't really talked about this camera too much because it's it's just there to be a camera I'm thinking about selling this one maybe upgrading to a different kind of camera I've heard a lot of good things about the Garmin verb this does what I needed to do I just needed to sh aim somewhere and be able to shoot both of these cameras can do 4k so I'm trying to future proof the channel a little bit when it comes to my cameras not the drones necessarily you'll see in a second uh, but for these cameras they're great they're easy to use they're so portable but one of the big things I really like about these Sony action cameras is they use the same batteries. 
So the Sony Action Camera used the NP-BX1 battery, and not only do they only use the Sony ones, but you can also buy the cheap ones. This is an official Sony one right here. But this is a Wasabi one I got off Amazon for like half the price, and they share batteries. So I used to have a GoPro setup where I had the GoPro Hero 5 Black, and I had the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black, and they did not use the same batteries. And that would drive me crazy having to keep two different sets of batteries charged, always misplacing batteries. I like these as a setup because they use the same batteries. It just makes it so easy to deal with. I only have to worry about one charger charging one set of batteries. Now, when it comes to being on the bike or being on location, audio is so important. Audio is just important to anything that you're doing on YouTube, period. If your audio screwed up, people will let you know or they'll just not watch your videos. So audio is as if not more important than your video quality. Because I see a lot of people focus on the cameras and yeah, cameras are cool and they're important. People just won't watch if you don't have good audio. So when I'm on the bike, the two things I use is this is the Tascam DR05 digital audio recorder. This is fantastic. I use it with a lavalier mic. This is just the cheap Sony lavalier mic. I've had some people comment on my videos. Are you just doing voiceover or are you actually capturing that audio while you're riding? And this thing is the reason why the audio sounds so good. If you see people on motorcycles you see people doing action stuff and their audio sounds kind of bad they probably have a microphone plugged straight into their camera for the gopros you need an adapter to do that for the sony you can just plug this straight into the sony but it sounds terrible this is well worth the investment these are all the backbone of my action philosophy for cameras so we're going about 60 miles an hour this is the audio quality you can expect with the lavalier mic plugged into the Tascam DR05. I generally think it sounds pretty good. It sounds good enough to keep doing it. Even when I have a camera just like I do now, the Sony FDR-X3000 that I can plug the microphone straight into the camera, I prefer how the audio sounds when it comes through the Tascam. This is the video quality of the FDR-X3000. Notice how stable it is, even with my head moving all around. And this is the video quality of the FDR X1000, which, while it doesn't have as good a stabilization as the 3000, I think it's still a great camera. I got it for really cheap on eBay, and it's been my go-to B camera for pretty much everything I do outside of my house. Now, when it comes to just straight up vlogging, if I'm just going to be walking around somewhere just trying to capture my experiences, this is my main tool when it comes to vlogging. This is a 3D printed little object I made. It has a hot shoe mount that I put my Rode microphone on. I'm using it right now on the camera, but I'll show you here in a second what it looks like. This part is the GoPro style adapter that I use to connect my Sony Action Cam 2, my FDR X3000, screws on like that. It really helps for vlogging. What makes this such a potent combination is the stability of the Sony and the awesome audio quality of the Rode Video Micro. These two together give you such an amazing ability to capture video wherever you go. And a bonus is that the FDR X3000 can do 4K, so this gives you a top of the line vlogging setup and it weighs almost nothing. It packs down to almost nothing. And what I'm most excited to talk about, if you've been watching my channel at all over the last month, you probably know what I'm about to talk about, and that's my drone platform. So the drone that I use to get my drone photography is the DJI Spark. I've released six videos on this drone. It is the best vlogging type drone, action type drone, personal type drone. It's incredibly smart. It has a million features. Watch my videos if you don't believe me. This drone is fantastic. But not just the drone, but I have the controller and the cable. And those two combined are what make it such a potent combo. Uh, and we'll see here in a second because I'm going to show examples of all of these setups. The drone by itself when it connects to your phone is an amazing smart camera that will just follow you. It's so easy to use. It takes seconds to get up and to start following you and filming. I use it on my mountain biking a lot. But what upgrades it into more of a camera drone is this. The controller is what gives you extended range. It still connects to your phone, but these antennas give you so much more flexibility and capability in the drone than if you're just using your phone. Well, that is all of my out of the studio action, getting after it, vlogging camera equipment.
If you like what you saw, if you like learning new things, if you want to learn how to use all this stuff, click that subscribe button down below. Once you click that subscribe button, make sure to hit the bell notification icon right next to it. If you don't do that, you could potentially miss out on some of the awesome stuff we're doing here on the channel. Well, hey, I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure out how to use all this stuff to make videos when I had never made a video before, you can figure it out. Thanks for watching.